And I was thinking, only, only if I could have understood what he wants to say, this situation would not have happened. And people around us were giving us the look. Don't you know how to discipline your child? I felt like telling them, I wish I could. I wish I can read his mind. Only then I can teach him discipline. Or I can understand what he says and I can help him. How in the world can you discipline a child if there is no communication? Frustrations and tantrums are not the only thing that affected us, but the entire family. Like the other time when we were at the mall shopping, all of a sudden he started to have a fit. It's like, what's going on? He was trying to tell his brother something, and he couldn't understand. So he comes to me, and he tells me something. Again, I can't understand him. I tried to guess, but I couldn't. There was no help. He starts to cry. He starts to have a tantrum. He starts to jump. He starts to rock. He broke his glasses and threw them on the floor. He's crying. His brother was upset. I was upset. I was dying inside as my son was trying to tell me something, and I can't understand. He needs help, and I can't help him. I feel I was helpless. Yes, I remember. I remember how we felt. We felt we are no good. How can we not understand our own child? How can we help him? Where do we go for help? We tried different medicines, therapies, tools, but nothing is working. How in the world can we find a solution to help him? We almost felt like losing hope. But then there's one thing that we always agreed on in our married life. We agreed that we'll not lose hope. And as long as we work together, we'll have love and hope in our lives. Yes. So we couldn't let that happen to our child. At one moment, we did think, why can't we just teach him to talk? But we couldn't. We cannot because of his autism and cognitive impairment. But what we could, we had to find a solution. Our love to our son drove us to engineer a solution for him, to create an app. And Nabila's ability to program the language, she was able to create a lab app called Words. Yeah, about, about three years ago, one time we noticed that Salman was interested in an iPod. He would just take the iPod and he would tap on the screen. He was not really able to play video games, but at that time, it seemed like he is actually playing, although he was just looking through it. So we took this opportunity that this is the device that he likes to use. So what we need is just a simple app that can go on this device and he can use this device as a communication tool. So that's how my words app was created. Today, Salman keeps his iPhone in his pocket and he has this app on his phone. Whenever he cannot communicate by his words or signs, he would use this app to tell people what he wants. This app is nothing fancy. It's a simple app, but what it does, it helps our son communicate. It lets him interact with people. People can interact with him this way. It gives him the confidence that he can be part of this community. Decreasing the confidence and decreasing the frustration. That's the key. That was the goal. And we felt that we were trying to accomplish that. When he had difficulty saying something, he would pull out his app, tap on the picture, and the app would say it for yeah, we have a list of about hundreds of words in his app that he can use to communicate. And whenever there is a new word or some phrase that he learns, we can always add that on the go. We just type in the word, record the sound,
take a picture, or we can use the photo gallery, and it's done. And we can even use, we can even use any language we want because there's no language barrier to it. When we want to add a new word to the app, we add it in, and then we can share it with the teachers. We can upload the vocabulary words to the server, and then the teachers can download it on their iPad. Mateen, do you remember how happy he was when he used it last trip? Yeah, I remember last time when we went to Dallas, it was in December. On the plane, when he needed a glass of juice, he asked the air hostess, can I have a glass of juice with this app? The air hostess, she understood him. She brought, brought him the juice. He was very happy. We were very happy. We had tears of joy in our eyes. We were over the moon to see him so content. We were happy. He was happy. That family was happy. Yes, our family. We have, as I said, five kids. Salman is blessed to have a twin brother and two sisters and a cute baby brother. All his siblings play a very important role in his life. He is blessed to have them. He has a special bond with them, and it helps him to see the things they are doing. He wants to do those things. And this helps us to help him more because they are the same age, and he is working with them and doing things that he likes. For so many years, he has been frustrated that he is not able to communicate with people. We hope that now this communication method will give him some opportunity to be part of this community. We think of this app as embodiment of our love with our son. With this app, there are so many people here that would want to help their loved ones. How many of you here with the IT background? Can we see some hands? Okay. I can probably see maybe five or ten. Great. You guys can create an app for your loved ones. For the rest of you, you don't have to create an app for your loved ones. You just have to use your special skills and the things you're good at. And you can use that to try to help and overcome the boundaries and overcome the obstacles you have in your life. We talked so much about our son. I'm sure you would like to see him, to meet him, and he would like to come and interact with you. So please welcome our son, Salman. Salman, say hi. hi. We'll be taking a few questions from the audience, and then he'll be answering it using his app. I guess we have some volunteers to ask, give the mics to people. Just, yeah, just, just a minute. I think it's, it's slow. Okay, he doesn't usually like sports, so maybe he can tell you what he really likes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, everyone is different. So. Okay, so man, you go about me, asking you what do you like. I like motorcycles and music. That's what he likes. <laughs> We have time to take another question. Yes, please. I am 16 years old. Okay. One more question. This would be the last question. Yeah, he likes animals. Yeah. See this? 
Yeah, this is the sign for cat. So that's the thing. Not everybody understands the sign language. And that was our thing that what if when he likes to use signs, still people do not understand him. So that's when we have to prompt him, no, you still need to use the app because people are not understanding you. So he can use the app to tell you what... Mr. D has a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's not perfect. We are still building on it. And we're continuously trying to make it better for him to use according to his, his needs. There will be so many problems in the future that we cannot foresee. But what we can foresee is as long as we are working together... And we have love in our life, we'll get through it. Thank you. Thank you.